Good morning, Jason Nathanson. Good morning. Take us away. Uh, what's coming up uh, movies uh, this weekend so we can tune out? Uh, you, you don't want to watch Kavanaugh Ford? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm all right. The all hot right. new show of the fall TV season. Uh, probably got the biggest ratings, by the way. Yeah, the I'm sure it did. Yeah, we all binge watched Kavanaugh oh, last yeah. night. Yeah. Um, but this weekend uh, at the movies, yeah, not such a huge weekend. But you have Night School, which is a comedy starring Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. Uh, it's from Girls Trip director Malcolm Lee. Uh, Girls Trip, of course, with Tiffany Haddish was the breakout star of that and really launched her star. Uh, and producer Will Packer, also behind that, is behind this. It's about Kevin Hart goes back to night school so he can take his GED and finish high school. It's getting terrible reviews, uh, but it's supposed to win the weekend. We're looking at $30 million for that, and if it underperforms, which it might because the reviews aren't so great, it opens up a competition between that and Smallfoot, which is an animated comedy featuring Channing Tatum, uh, who is uh, the voice of Migo, a yeti, uh, who's convinced that the elusive creatures known as humans or smallfoots really do exist. See, they're bigfoots, we're smallfoots. Ah, so that's mm. where that comes from. So that's look, that's tracking at about twenty-five million. Um, Night school about thirty million. So you could have a race there between the two of them. Smallfoot actually getting good reviews. Uh, big weekend on television for some of the uh, season debuts. Uh, did you get a chance to see This Is Us? It, I don't think it did as well as people thought it would. Uh, it, this is us did not I mean it returned it, you know, most of the shows most of the returning shows uh, were pretty terrible Big Bang Theory is down 39 percent Good Doctor was down 41 percent uh, Dancing with the Stars was down 29 percent Modern Family down 24 uh, percent but those are just looking at the overnight ratings uh, which don't tell the whole picture these days because of streaming and DVR, you really got to wait a week these days to see how something does. Because a lot of these shows will double in audience uh, right. in seven days after its premiere. So if you just look at the first night, most shows not doing well. Most of the new shows also doing, okay, nothing's really popping. Manifest is probably the biggest on NBC. That's the show about the plane that disappears and then it comes back five years later. That had 10.4 million viewers. That's the best of the bunch so far. Most of the other stuff, really not making uh, waves. I'll be interested to see how Murphy Brown did. That was one of the big premieres last night. We don't have the ratings yet on that. Did I hear Clinton? Which, which Clinton showed up on Murphy Brown last night? Uh, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, yeah. Yeah, oh. but, you know, it'd be, the whole family would have been interesting, right? Bill yeah. and Chelsea. I, really, I mean, I also think they should have Kramer be her secretary one, one day. Oh, <laughs> that, would, that would be great. That would be very funny. <laughs> and they're doing, they're doing, they've revived that gag, so she mm. has a new assistant every week that's, you know, not doing well. Uh, the show itself, though, I got to say, we, I, I saw the first two episodes before it premiered, and they, they hid from us the Hillary Clinton guest starring role, uh -huh. so we didn't know about that. But that wasn't enough to save the show because I, will, I really liked Murphy Brown when it was first on. Sure. But this this uh, revival was just not good. Uh, the, the Trump humor. Look, if you're going to go after Trump, uh, President Trump, which, you know, a lot of shows are doing and, you know, whatever. If you're going to do it, though, you've got to be good because you're, you're up against, when it comes to comedy, John Oliver and Jimmy Kimmel right. and Stephen Colbert and a lot of guys who are doing it really well. This show just does, when you're doing jokes about his hair and his Twitter account, I mean, that's just old material. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Manifest, it's interesting you bring that up. I really wanted to check that show out. And back in the olden days, I would know what day it was and what time. <laughs> I, I, know, I, I know it's out. I'd like to see it. I'll get around to it at some point. But I yeah. couldn't tell you when it aired or what time it aired. I think it's airing again tonight, actually. Really? Yeah. really? It, it, well, it, de it debuted on Monday, um, and it's possible that NBC, yeah, they, they could be rerunning it since it, was, it did do well, and they want people to check it out. Uh, but that's the problem, and I've been hearing this, especially this week, from a lot of people, is that when you watch TV and you watch stuff on your DVR and you fast-forward through the commercials, you're also fast-forwarding through the promos. Mm -hmm. And the promos used to be the way that the network would tell you, hey, we got a big show coming up. Um, and if you know, if you look at the all the networks have been promoing the heck out of all their new shows. But if you're not watching those, you might have no idea what's coming up. It's the same with movies. Everybody these days is skipping commercials, so they're skipping the commercials for the movies. You have no idea when movies are coming out either, uh, which is something that the networks are trying to figure out. Mm. You know, one medium where you can't skip the commercials. Radio. Radio. Hmm, advertisers, yeah. I hope they're listening. Jason, Jason Nathanson, you are always welcome here. Thanks for checking in, Jason. All right. Take